The truth behind Laurie's strong sexual interest in Alison Hightower's feet just made their manipulative arrangement even more disturbing. Just when it seemed like Laurie's obsession with Queen Alison Hightower's feet couldn't get any more disturbing, House of the Dragon's clarification of the foot fetish scene makes it worse. One of the most shocking moments from House of the Dragon Season 1 occurred in Episode 9 when Queen Alicent sought information from the spymaster and torturer Lord Laurie Strong. After killing his brother Harwin and father Lionel in order to force Alicent into giving him more power, Laurie's continued feeding her vital secrets and quickly rose through the capital's ranks. However, their alliance turned more sinister when revealing that Laurie's would only give Alicent information if she agreed to let him masturbate to her feet. Hey guys, welcome to my channel, please don't forget to like and subscribe and also click on the notification bell to remain updated. This video contains spoiler alert. At the 2022 Game of Thrones convention, House of the Dragons Laurie's Clubfoot, strong actor Matthew Needham gave more context to the character's most shocking scene from the first season, which says a lot. While the majority of House of the Dragon's key characters are morally grey, Laurie Strong is inarguably despicable, with George R. R. Martin's Fire and Blood book establishing his legacy as a ruthless man who will forever be impossible to understand. House of the Dragon Season 1's depiction of the character has already made him worse than the book, with Needham's insight regarding Laurie's actions with Alicent making him far more sadistic than expected. According to Matthew Needham, Laurie Strong's obsession with Alison's feet isn't a typical foot fetish, but is rather a sadistic power play aimed at controlling and traumatizing another person. Laurie's wasn't conveniently using Alison to satisfy a sexual foot fetish, he got off on knowing that she didn't want to let him masturbate to her feet and he could make her shame herself. Sure, Laurie's has a psychological fixation on feet as an association with the trauma and shame of his clubfoot, but his satisfaction truly comes from his power to manipulate Queen Alison Hightower, a supposedly untouchable ruler. House of the Dragon establishes that Laurie's is ashamed of his own feet, and now he's instilling the same shame in Alison. In Needham's opinion, Laurie's likes making people feel incomplete, so the entire scene is a purposeful assault. Even long after Laurie's is gone, he wants Alicent to be just as traumatized and sickened by this part of her body as he is. The powerful torturer Laurie Strong may take the eyes or tongues of his prisoners in the Red Keep's dungeons, but the psychological manipulation of Alicent is an even more satisfying crime because the shame appears self-inflicted. Laurie's gives Alicent the illusion of choice in their shocking agreement but enjoys that he can make the righteous and dutiful Queen of Westeros turn her own body into a crime scene. Needham's assessment of Laurie's and Alicent's foot masturbation scene in House of the Dragon Season 1 reaffirms that cold-blooded murder and physical pain aren't the only sources of criminal torture Laurie's will inflict on others. In fact, this is only the beginning of the heinous crimes he will commit in the horrific Dance of the Dragons. There are plenty of figures in the running for this title, but the deep-rooted psychological damage that Laurie's has been inflicting on Alicent cements him as House of the Dragon's most sadistic character. Alicent is supposed to be the one person who Laurie's can't harm, but it turns out that he sees her as nothing more than a pawn in his own political game, a mind for him to torment, and a body that will internally bear the scars of his crimes long after he's gone. There was no realistic political gain from making Alicent sexually shame herself, Laurie simply wanted to inflict pain on another and make her weak. The young King Aegon II Targaryen is a callous criminal in his own right, but he still has somewhat of a conscience as guided by his mother. Christian Cole is an embittered murderer of the elderly whose heartless warpath against Rhaenyra and her children is pathetically based on his shattered pride, but he does still show restraint in particularly brutal moments, such as his refusal of Alicent's order to take the eye of young Lucerys Valerion. House of the Dragon already emphasized Laurie's heartlessness when murdering his fiercely protective father and brother to get a leg up in the Game of Thrones, with Laurie's manipulation of Alicent bringing his deplorable nature and lack of empathy to an irredeemable level. House of the Dragon Episode 9 demonstrates that Laurie's tries to lessen his own shame of his clubfoot by giving trauma associated with feet to others, but it's never successful. 
Laurie's insecurities about his clubfoot drove him to immense power during the Dance of the Dragons, but it never fully removed the inferiority he felt. This comes full circle in House of the Dragon's ending, which firmly establishes the clubfoot at Laurie's greatest source of self-torment. After conspiring to kill Aegon II Targaryen in the Dance of the Dragons, Laurie's is executed for kingslaying by Lord Cregan Stark, the temporary hand of Rhaenyra's son King Aegon III Targaryen. Laurie's accepts his death when the time comes, preferring a warmer hell and choosing to be beheaded rather than take the black like many of his co-conspirators. Laurie's last words in House of the Dragon are simply a plea for Cregan to grant him one request. When I am dead, hack off my clubfoot, let me be free of it in death. Instead of showing repentance, Laurie's only wants to be rid of the source of his trauma and shame in the afterlife. Thanks for watching, please don't forget to like this video and drop comments. And most importantly don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything.